Hey what's up guys? In today's video we are going to be learning about the audio jack which looks like this. It's also known as the stereo pin in some places. So it has many applications, common applications around your house and you can find it in your headsets and then mic sets etc. So let's learn how this works. So basically based upon the number of poles there are about two types, two major types of stereo jacks that is the three pin or three pole one where uh, you can distinctively count three pins that is one, two and three and then we have four pins like this in which you can count one, two, three, four. So when you find that there is there are three pins in a stereo jack it means that it does not support a microphone but when you find four pins in a stereo jack it means that it supports a microphone so i have prepared this small diagram for us to understand better so here is our diagram for you to get it get a picture of it i put a link in the description below so to understand it better let's take our audio pin and then slowly unscrew it to reveal this so to understand which of these pins corresponds to which of these ones let's get our multimeter out and turn it into the sound mode here we put our multimeter into the sound mode for those of you who don't know when we switch into this mode and connect both the positive as well as the negative together it produces a small beep sound like that so the basic idea is to touch one of these pins and one of these pins together so that since they are already connected among each other they will produce our required beep sound so here we go the first one and this one no this one and this one again nope this one and this one there it is so since it has produced the beep sound we can now write that this pin corresponds to this one in this process we test out all three pins and we have finally reached a conclusion that the ground or the biggest pin among the all is going to correspond to the pin Z and then the right input or the second biggest one is going to correspond to Y and lastly the smallest one or the last one here is going to correspond to X that's it for today's video guys so in this video we have learned how the audio pin works and you have, if you have any queries regarding this please don't worry post a comment below and I'll try to verify it if so if you liked my project video perhaps you like some of my others Subscribe to my channel and hit the like button below. That's it for today guys. Bye.